Hey, it's your Reverend Aegis here, and in this video I bring you another installment of the CP300 Challenge, where every member of our group is only allowed to slot 100 CP per tree in the CP2.0 system. If this is your first time watching one of these challenge videos, the idea is that we wanted to simulate what it was like being a low-level character trying to get into endgame dungeon content as early as possible. Since the cutoff for queuing for vet DLCs is CP300, that's where we set our mark. To go along with the theme, we also decided to play on alt tunes we were less comfortable with, and we agreed we weren't allowed to bring along any trial gear or wear any monster sets from DLC dungeons we hadn't yet completed on our CP300 tunes. As an extra challenge, we had to complete dungeons in order by release date and finish their hard mode before moving on to the next DLC. In other words, an OP set like Symphony of Blades wasn't allowed until later on. In this video, we take on Bloodroot Forge hard mode, our group comp is an Orc Nightblade tank, that's me, a Necro Healer, a Mag DK, and a Mag Sword. The gear I'm wearing is the Craftable Torx Pact with an infused weakening enchant on the Ice Staff back bar, and Powerful Assault with an infused Crusher enchant on the Sword Board front bar. There are several challenges with doing Bloodroot Forge hard mode at low CP. The first, of course, is that you do less damage, and you get more lava pools as a result. So the slower that you kill all of these bosses, the more lava pools they put out. And as you'll see as this video progresses, we end up with a ton of lava pools. Luckily, we're able to beat it in time before the lava pools take up the whole map and there's nowhere left to stand. The other challenge, of course, is low damage mitigation on a 300 CP tank. Of course, I make up for this with what I'm wearing as sets, and the fact that I'm a Nightblade means that my damage mitigation overall is excellent compared to all of the other tank classes. The third main issue we had with this hard mode in particular, of course, is something that's hard to determine from the video, and that is that we completed this hard mode on our CP300 tunes at the same time that there was a block glitch that hadn't been fixed yet, which means that every time I blocked it cost way more resources than it should have. So to make up for this, I did have two block cost reduction enchants on my jewelry, and they were infused, so that really helped with sustain there but it made it so that my Magicka recovery was really bad. Also, we didn't have access to things like Symphony of Blades, so I had to rely on Engine Guardian, and I had to rely on Sentinel of Rock Yams from my healer. So the sustain was the major issue I had with tanking this fight. As you can see, overall, I did a fine job of maintaining my resources despite these challenges, and we ended up getting complete on this without anybody dying. Of course, I'm only showing you the clear video, so we did have a few attempts to clean up some of the mistakes we made early on, and you can just see it all come together in this video, which looks really smooth. Again, the damage was a little bit slow, that's why we had all that lava everywhere, but overall, considering all the things that I mentioned, this was a pretty successful run, and we got it done relatively quickly. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this, as well as plenty other examples of tanking in action using non-traditional builds or guides for hard modes, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you want to see my CP distribution for this 300 CP challenge, stick around as I'm about to show it.